I did try to make this video once already and uh, I was using keyboard and mouse and I was absolutely horrible. Now I'm missing a lot of the reading here, but listen, I'm really bad at reading as it is. I'm, I'm barely even good at talking, right? But check this out. We're going to try to read as much of it as we can and then we'll play the game. I listened to my mama's heartbeat as she carried me to Alphaville. People chased us. I remember her driving and bison running by, then a flooded city. Suddenly I couldn't find mama. I was scared and alone. I only remember the rockets leaving from Mars and I believe that was the last rocket, which is the rocket that we took. The astronaut that we played in the first game was the pilot of the last rocket to leave Earth. And I think we're his kid. Possibly. Spoilers, but listen, a lot of you guys don't even know what the hell game I'm talking about. Again, Golf Club Wasteland. If you want to check it out, I really liked it. I like the story behind it. I love the music. And I think it's a really good game. So if you haven't checked it out, definitely check that out. But uh, yeah, maybe I spoiled some stuff for a game that you probably weren't ever going to play. Then one day I found a dead Martian. I took off his helmet and put it on. There was music playing in it. I listened and learned. After years of speaking wolf, I spoke human again. One full moon later, I was chasing something when a new spaceship arrived. I wanted to make friends, so I, I approached the group, but they didn't see a kid. They saw a mutant. Another thing to catch and study. The Cub. I didn't know why, but I'd soon find out. Excerpt from Son of No One. Now again, I, I on the first game, again, go and check it out, Golf Club Wasteland. I absolutely loved the art style and the animation style of it, and that's what initially made me pick it up. Then I got to get the music. The music is absolutely fantastic, and then the story was also good as well. Now, if you are looking for a golf game, it's not really a golf game. It's a game about the lives of people living in the future. That's what the game's about. And I think this is a continuation of that, but this is the at least one of the last children on earth and that's what we're checking out all right now i am playing this with a uh, controller now so i should be able to do good i'm the son of no one is the name of the song and i really like the music in this game i say for longer jumps is what it said there and Basically what this game is, it's all atmosphere, from the sound effects, to the music, to the DJ on the radio talking and telling the story. It's just a really, at least in my opinion, so far, the first game was fantastic. If the Cub, whenever it does release, uh, is anything like the first game, I think it's going to be a fantastic game. And I think we'll just play until we see how far we get. And again, this game is in development right now. This is technically kind of like a beta test thing that I have access to. And uh, I just thought I'd check it out and try to get the word out before the game actually comes out. And uh, just share and show the animation style, the art style, all that good stuff. And I've got to tell you guys, I tried to do it with keyboard and mouse, like I said, and I, I, I was garbage. So hopefully I do better with an actual controller. But I love the music in this game, or in the first game. I like the music in this one so far. Beat a roll, okay. Oh, come on. I was up, bro. Get up, get up, get up. Hold me a slide. Jump! Oh my god, you almost died, you moron. Run! Press A while holding left to jump from the ledge. Gotcha. Oh, dude, come on. Also, I'm playing with a Xbox One controller, and this one's 
pretty old at this point. Not that that's an excuse, but you know. X to interact. Nice. <laughs> the burp. Wow, now that takes me back to dark and smoky. Come on, dude. Alright, so it seems like this is gonna be much more of a platformer than anything else. Which is not bad. Oh, oh I thought I made it, bro. Let's try that again. Ooh, I like this song. Run, you moron. You gotta hold B in order to roll whenever you land. Okay, so far so good. What is that? Oh, is that a okay? That's a plane. Uh, flight record: You have crashed in hostile territory near the suspected enemy bunker. Close satellites are 15 cl clicks west. Estimating, you have approximately 17 minutes to reach the safe distance. Alphaville is 100 clicks east. Okay. Uh, you think there's some up there or not? Oh, there's gotta be something up here, right? Oh, dude, look at the, There's a guy in the parachute. Oh. Okay. I guess that's where that, that note fell from, right? Whoa. What was that? Don't do it, bro. Am I not supposed to come this way? Oh god. Oh, I just- oh. Oh, I was supposed to go down. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay. I just got eaten by a snake. That's cool. Also, that's a big ass snake. Uh, monster. Crouch it. Jump it. Nice. Okay, it looks like... Oh, uh, wait a minute. Hold on. Maybe there's something cool over here. What is this? Like a bank safe or something. Uh, let's see. Maybe there's like a secret up here? It's very quiet. The music stopped. Dude, look. There's gold right here, bro. Too bad it's not worth anything now. He scratched his butt. Alright, well that's cool. That's probably going to be like an achievement or something whenever it comes to consoles. Or to Steam. Also, how strong is this kid? I don't know about you guys, but I'm not... Oh, no. I murdered the child. Okay, so there's gold in there. Basically. I, I'm kind of curious though to go and see if there's anything else that we can find in there. Also, uh, a cool thing is that uh, the music and stuff is playing through the headset, through the helmet. So, like, whenever you go into places that you cannot uh, get reception, I guess, then it stops playing, which I think is like a nice little touch to it. Man, I basically ended up in the exact same spot. Oh, there was another way out here, probably. Oh, that. All right, that little poster right there, that's probably a collectible as well. Yeah, because I can't go back in. Okay, so there's definitely something there. 
Oh, dude, look at the alligator in, in the foreground. Oh, there's also one in the ooh. There's also one in the water. Jeez. Oh, dude, electrify the water by something. Sea urchins or some. Oh, come on. I saw that at the last second. Bro, give a break, guys. I think we're doing pretty good. A little toddler prop there taking us back to the days of late stage capitalism at its finest. Child Ambushed by insurgents. So sweet. I managed to retreat and regroup. Three killed in action, two missing in action. There is no drinking water in regions controlled by the insurgents ever since the mine accident. On our way back to Alphaville in time for the Hope mission. I do, I believe the Hope mission was the last rocket ship. I think it was named Hope. I could be completely wrong. Maybe I'm just excited for the game. But I think it was called the Hope rocket. A look back at life on the open road and a look forward to the long road ahead. Crying while riding a Harley Davidson is the actual meaning of life. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of cool. I tried to recreate that feeling here on Mars. So I took a Tesla City delivery EVA for a spin on the Planitia Plains. Kid in the mine. But it's like driving a janky VR simulation. x right? It made me miss riding my motorcycle, my cool. Jolene. Even more. What the hell is that? 35, for 30 days in the like blistering heat of July, I took a 4,600 mile trip across America on a motorbike. We set off from California, we zigzagged up and down the country, and it covered 18 states all the way up to New York City where I was to take over my father's company. During the trip, the biggest surprise for me was how much of my thinking was Next generation fuel Even from Mars bound rockets. I just staying alive at 70 miles an hour on two wheels with crazy wings buffeting me in all directions. So while my mind was this constant barrage of compulsive thoughts, those thoughts were generally practical. Like, how do I get to that destination before dark? Am I drinking enough water? Am I hydrating? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The bigger picture stuff, like why right am there. I doing this and what is life about anyway, didn't come until later. We started the trip at the peak of California's infamous orange heat wave and we rode it for five days in temperatures you wouldn't believe. Oh, Some crap. mornings I'd have sweat dripping from my Not elbow before we off. My eyes Jeez. were from the Are we live? Sometimes okay. I'd wake okay. up so sore I could barely move. My inner thighs had engine burn. And even though those closest to me actually didn't think I'd make it, huh, I learned that I could physically overcome much more than I thought. So after that rite of passage, I knew I could take over the company. Instead oh, of being no. a little brat who's finally going to pay for her theater Bro, career, shoot me. I turned the company into a true Jeez. Now, here I am. Martians chasing Earthlings. All right. Among the last representatives of humanity in the universe. But aside from this high minded idealism, it has no meaning. Jeez. First, why did that? Oh, this damn EVA suits, there's no wind on the highway here. No open air solitude that makes you feel one with the world like back on Earth. On Mars, even Look if you manage to get outside, up, you're still trapped in a bubble of your own stale air. No matter where you go. Isolation to you. Oh no. Okay. So avoid that. Unlike the open road, it's an experience oh, of crap. Okay. wholeness. There's no dancing asphalt in the heat and no neon with oh. diamonds and two AM omelets with green bell peppers and Jeez. yellow cheddar with a side of burnt hash browns. Greasy bacon and black coffee. 
right? Oh, why are they the adding right trigger for this? I don't like that. And strictly monitored oxygen levels in sterile domes. We live in bubbles within bubbles. I admire how far we've come and how resilient we Oh my longer. god. Dude, everything's trying to kill us, including the other humans. So what the hell? Whoa, uh, crap, she keeps. What? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. At any rate, the point is, I miss my Jolly. That's all. Thanks for this. Keep running, keep running. We're in space, let's space out with some of the delicious psych rock. Come on. Oh, I, I, I did not see that. I totally ran into those doors hard. That thing right there looks like a platform. So that could be a little issue. Also, is the astronaut the, the shooting at this a lady? It looks like it might be a girl. Dude, I did it, I did it again. Oh my God. Do you know how many broken, oof. It's like, I saw the platform and I realized it wasn't a platform just like the first time, but it was too late for me to do anything. There you go, buddy. Jump. Okay. Good, good, good. Jeez. What was it? Trigger? Yeah. Cut. I would never lock my knees the way that he is whenever he drops down. I would murder. All right, hopefully we're done with homeboy here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, dude. Help me out here. We took too long. Oh, oh, oh. Basically, I have to get it right the first time. So it's, it's a little bit more frustrating because it is pretty much a platformer. But you do got to get things right. Otherwise, it's not going to be great. trying to swing and I was like why is that not swing we did it man and that's all folks it 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 looks good I I'm very curious to see because at the end of Again, spoilers. It's an indie game I don't think a lot of people played, so you guys probably weren't going to play it anyways. But you should go and check out Golf Club Wasteland. Spoilers for how what happens. No spoilers. I'm not going to say anything. You should definitely check it out. I'm excited to see what happens because I know what happened at the end of the first game, and I want to see if they tie things together with this game. So again, The Cub is in development. I think it's a beautiful game from the art style to the animation. I absolutely love how chill and relaxing the music and the radio is. And I hope you guys will check it out whenever it comes out. Well, I will keep you updated on when that is because we don't have an exact release date for this game. But I'm excited for it to drop. 
So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about the game, and I will see you on the next video.